I'm going to show you how to uh, get your own uh, custom kits going here in the Beat Thing Virtual. It's real simple. First thing you need to make sure you are in kit mode. Then press new. Now if you look here to the left, you're going to see a factory folder and a user folder. You can go ahead and get started with the factory folder. It's got all the percussion, all the drums you're going to need, a bunch of kicks, a bunch of snares, hi-hats, cymbals, you know, b kangs put everything in here. Over 3,000 sounds. So, uh, you know, they mix and mastered, you know, recorded them just for this uh, program in the box. So check them out. Basically, all you need to do is drag your uh, samples from this side over to the pad. Uh, we've got a thump kick here. Turn it up. So uh, we'll lay a couple sounds out, then I'll show you what you can do to uh, edit. Uh, let's go for some type of a snare here on the D. Uh, let's go down here to snares. Crackling 8, you know, let's get a little 808 kick going here. You know, you can adjust the volume. You can also do up to 16 layers per pad, you know, as long as your computer can handle it. But, uh, you know, all you got to do is click on layer right here, press up, and then, uh, you know, you can just... Real simple, uh, I'll show you what you can do to edit too. You know, each pad you can edit the velocity because you can do up to 16 uh, layers, edit the velocity for each one. You can also edit the actual waveform for each individual pad. So I like this a lot because think if you want to edit some vinyl, which there will be some videos up uh, how to chop some vinyl, you know, you can pull the same sample, the same vinyl sample out on each pad. And uh, since you know you, you can start your start point or edit your start point and your end point. You know, you could chop up your vinyl however you want and, you know, easily get it on, you know, spread out on all these pads and, uh, you know, do what you need to do. But that will be on some uh, other videos. Check those out, too, how to chop the vinyl. Uh, but, yeah, you, you know, you could also uh, adjust the attack, decay, delay, reverb. It's real simple. I'll show you what to do with the key span. You know, if you want to get, like, the many fresh drops, you know, uh, Tom's dropping, you know, the, the southern snares starting high and like dropping low. It's called a key span on here. It's real simple to do. Uh, we just click on D, hit key span right here. And it's going to be starting on D0. And I want it to go up a couple, like, uh, probably, you know, uh, a couple different keys. So we'll just bank up two. And uh, we'll end it. On D2. So now when I complete it, you know, simple as that. And, uh, you know, all I got to do is, uh, you know, save my kit. We'll just call it, you know, one, two, three. There's a lot more stuff you can do to edit all your sounds. You're just going to have to dig into it, check it out, you know. It's real simple to do. I just wanted to get you all started here. And to actually use that, just go hit pattern. And we'll click new. So you got a new pattern going. You just go over here to the left to user kits. And you'll see the uh, one, two, three copy kit. You know, we got it on track one. There it is. Simple as that.